Okay, here we are at uh, video number three, and I have no idea what I'm going to say. I'm actually still in bed because I woke up it just fucking terrified to do this one. <laughs> Got the one real bad one on the first day. Felt pretty good about yesterday. And then my voices just got really loud. You're a freak. This looks crazy. This is over the top. Why are you doing this? It's not even like you're running around trying to be a public speaker or you want... I Because there's no agenda to this. It's just something I felt called to do. And I'm so tired of shutting everything down I feel called to do even if I don't have a reason for it. So I wrote a list when I was at that seminar of things that I was looking at doing or that called me and inspired me and I wrote down the book. I've written down plenty of things easily in the videos I kept erasing, kept erasing. Now maybe that's not really my thing. Maybe it's just I feel like I should do because I'm at a seminar. So I finally just put down that I would just make ones to share what I'm feeling or what I'm seeing, even if they were just for myself and not posted. There was no promise to it or anything. So I just wrote that. And then yeah, I'm holding this because I have no idea what I'm doing when I'm holding these things. So I've done two and then I do great during the day and then at night and in the morning, oh, that voice is just really tearing me up. Just get off Facebook. No one will ever know you did this. And then what I started noticing is that regardless of what the purpose is for these videos, other than I feel called to do them. I started looking at, well, what are the results that you've produced this week that are tangible that maybe you're just not looking at? You're looking at whatever the video is supposed to produce, which there's no, I don't know, there's no outcome in my mind about it. But then I wrote down what's happened this last week, and I've gone out most every day just because I was excited to go out. I've gone out and done some social things. I've written every day in my book. I've been eating exactly how I want to eat. I've been working out. I've been doing the meditating for two hours a day. I am doing these freaking videos. Um, I've had people out of the blue send me stuff about their books that I didn't even know they were writing or sharing huge goals with me and saying, hey, could you? I'd love to spend some time and talk to you about these. So things are showing up, and I've accomplished more in this last week of very terrifying things, but things are very nurturing at the same time in this week. So if there's any reason to keep going with this, is something's opening up for me that's having everything else work really well. My headaches have lessened a lot. My, the fatigue and pain in my body has lessened a lot. Um, I feel energetic. I feel playful. I feel excited during the day. It's just, you know, going before, before you go to sleep and in the morning when, you know, you don't get the voice, it's like, you are such a badass. Oh my gosh, can't wait to see what you do today. And it's, it tells you the exact opposite. Like, don't get up, don't talk, and pretend you're not here anymore. Very helpful. So writing down the results of what's been going on with this actually did help me. And another thing I was thinking about, because I was looking at Facebook when I first woke up, bad idea. Uh, uh, you know, everyone posts the memes and the quotes, and I'm an addict to quotes. They, I have books. I have probably one of the biggest collections of them on Pinterest. Uh, I have magnets on my fridge. But one thing I hate about them is that I don't usually buy them and put them up in my house because I know in about 24 hours I won't see it anymore. So I can get a new magnet that has an amazing quote on it. But I almost feel sad that I'm going to put it up there because I won't see it anymore. It won't motivate me. It won't touch me anymore. I, I won't feel inspired by it because I'm not living it. And so it'll just be a blink. And I was thinking about what my favorite magnet is, and I actually grabbed it. And it talks about the only people for me are the mad ones, the ones who are mad to live, mad to talk, mad to be saved, desirous of everything at the same time, the ones who never yawn or say a commonplace thing, but burn, 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 like fabulous yellow room candles exploding like spiders across the sky. That's by Jack Kerouac. That's my favorite quote because I'm one of the mad ones. And I guess that's why I'm on this stupid video. Because if I'm a magnet, I'm stagnant. I have a good thought 
and then I sit there and then there's not an impact after that. And I don't want to be a magnet. I don't want to be someone who has a great thought and then hides and sits there and then no one can see me anymore and I can't see me anymore because I'm not continually creating and evolving and what I'm feeling called to do. So I don't want to be that invisible magnet. And if I stay quiet, I, that's what I'll become. So I've got to keep staying in motion. Now there's something to being quiet and being peaceful that help people too. And for years I've done that. You know, I've been the home where kids and people could come and felt safe and they could be exactly who they were. And that's what I wanted for them. It's just now something else is coming out where I got to be one of the mad ones. And I've always been scared to do that because when they used to do public speaking, um, you know, people had really good reactions to it. And I can be over the top. I can be very emotional. I can throw ideas out there that sound impossible. And one time I was sharing with some family members about it. And even though I felt amazing about what I was going to do, and it, would, it looked crazy. It was outlandish. But it felt exactly right what I was supposed to do. And they said, you know, that's over the top. That's, that's not balance. That's, you need to calm down a little bit. And it has me feel scared. Like when I produce big results that are loud in the world, then I'm being over the top. But those are the people we all notice. They're the ones that make a difference. So it's just me learning to be okay with being one of the mad ones. Because I, in fact, am one of the mad ones. And I love that about myself. So with all those thoughts going through, the last thing I saw on Facebook was uh, the, a memory come up, you know, with the memories that show up. And I had posted a quote that said, Wild woman, you were not made to be tame. You're an earthquake shaking loose everything that is not soul. Shake, woman, shake. So I'm shaking. I'm shaking because I'm scared. I'm shaking because I don't know what I'm saying, but things are still coming out. And I'm shaking because this is what connects me to my soul. And it shakes everything else that's not there or that's not really me. Even though those voices in the morning are telling me that is who I am. So I'm going to keep shaking. I'm going to keep crying. And I'm going to keep having results show up that I don't know what are going to be, but they are showing up. And so I got to remind myself that that's what's worth doing this for. And it is for me. It's for just reminding myself not to be the magnet. I give you a quote, but I got to be one that's dancing around and moving and hopefully evolving. And doing it out loud seems to break away the things that aren't soul or that are, yeah, that aren't soul. It's right. <laughs> that's what I'm looking for. So I'm going to just keep shaking. <laughs>